In this video, we're going to be analyzing a bicep doing a curl on a 30 pound dumbbell. And we're going to figure out how much tension a bicep actually has to produce to curl a 30 pound weight. Now, if we take a look at this diagram, we have a few different things going on. We obviously have a 30 pound weight providing some torque. And because the weight is pulling down with its weight with a certain force of gravity, it's going to try to rotate the arm in the clockwise direction. And then for the actual weight of the arm as well, because it has its own little force of gravity, then it's also going to be providing some torque in the clockwise direction. So both of those are going to be working together to be providing torque in the negative direction. Now, on the other end, your bicep is counteracting those forces and it is trying to rotate the weight upwards. And while it's doing that, there's some tension being provided by the bicep in order to lift that dumbbell upwards. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the net torque on the arm. And the net torque on the arm is going to be zero Newton meters at this particular point. And we have three different torques being exerted on the arm. So we're gonna set up our formula for the torques that are exerted by the two forces of gravity, and then also by the bicep counteracting it. And then we'll go ahead and plug in those numbers as well. So I went ahead and plugged in three of the different torques that are being exerted on the arm. And each of them is the force times the lever arm. So we have the force of tension by the bicep, which is located three centimeters from the pivot point, the pivot point being right at this joint right over here. And we took the three centimeters and divided that by 100 to convert it to 0 0.03 meters. And then we have the weight of the actual forearm itself, which is two pounds. We took it from the center of mass. So we split that 0.2 or excuse me, 0.4 meters into 0.2 meters. And then we have the 30 pound weight, the full 0.4 meters from the pivot point. Now I left everything in pounds, which is unusual, but that just means that our answer is going to come out in pounds. And if we choose to convert into Newtons later, we can go ahead and do that. So I did all the calculations in pounds and meters. And then uh, I got this value over here. So actually this would not be a Newton meter. It would be a pound meter. And then when I divide both sides by 0 0.03 meters, then I get 413.33 um, pounds. So that is actually pretty shocking that the bicep has to produce that much force in order to curl up a 30 pound weight because it's located that certain distance from the pivot point where the elbow is. Now, if we took that force and converted it, we can go ahead and see what that looks like in Newtons as well. So if we took the 413.33 pounds, and then we say one pound is equal to 4.4 Newtons, and we multiply those out, then we get... 1818.65 newtons so that gives us two answers in different units which are the same value if we're actually talking about the amount of tension so we could have either one converted those pounds into newtons in the beginning and then we would have just gotten this answer in newtons at the end i chose to leave it in pounds and so that we can take a look at the force of tension in pounds first and then go ahead and convert that into newtons later on 
So I hope that was helpful in helping you analyze a bicep curl problem and solve for the force of tension. Thank you for watching and listening.